Hey everybody, David Weeder here again, just welcoming you back to The Blessed Life. Hallelujah. I just, I know I said it before, but I just enjoy saying that. I just hear Jesus saying that. Welcome to The Blessed Life, because the blessing of the Lord makes rich, and He adds no sorrow with it. Glory to God. Hey, I just wanted to give you a quick update from the road. We are finishing up our meetings in Sacramento tonight. Uh, Pastor Phil and Brenda Godot's church, Calvary Christian Center. Bless God, what a powerful church. My, 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 my. We have had healings, miracles. One dear precious lady came up with an incurable bone disease that made it so she could barely walk. She had walking casts. And the Lord absolutely healed her head to toe she started jumping up and down stomping that foot on the ground in that cast no pain whatsoever she's hugging people and left and right and she was just overflowing with the joy of the lord and that is the blessed life glory to god hallelujah hey i wanted to uh, give you a heads up because here in just a couple days we're going to be in chicago at the 2016 Living Victory meeting. And I wanted to give you the details on that. It is April 22nd through the 23rd. And it is going to be at the Sheraton Chicago Hotel and Towers in Chicago, Illinois. Powerful, powerful time. I tell you what, the Lord is absolutely moving amongst His people and amongst the world and you need to get in that meeting because i guarantee you just one word from god can change your life forever if you receive it and if you believe it hallelujah hey i wanted to touch base uh with you i wanted to continue actually just give you one more piece if you watched the video from last time where i gave you the the update from california at the end of that i talk a little bit about the scripture in malachi regarding tithing okay and we made a point in that video if you didn't watch it because uh, you just got thought it was an update from sunny california go back and watch it i talk about the rally movie at the end which is coming up the end of this week you got to go see it i talk about the rally m movie at the beginning of it but at the end i talk about malachi 3 and the and the scriptures and the verses on tithing so go back and listen to that because there's a key element in there that the Lord just brought out to me recently and I wanted to share it with you. And I'm going to continue with one more verse on that before we go into uh, uh, a little bit longer teaching in the next couple weeks on tying those verses together. And it's, 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 it's revolutionized my life. It has really, really changed everything about my thought processes. Um, you know, and the, and the Word says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you be in health and prosper even as your soul prospers. Well, your soul is your mind, your will, and your emotions. And when the Word of the Lord comes to you and He reveals something out of His Word and you allow it to change your mind, change your way of thinking, how you perceive things, then your soul is prospering and it will result in health and prosperity in the natural realm. And that's one of the things that it's, it's talking about in that verse. So I wanted to bring up the next scripture in this series, uh, this little series that we're doing here. And it is in the book of Haggai in the Old Testament. Uh, you may have to look for it for just a minute. So if you need to hit pause, go over to the table of contents, find out where it is. It's only two chapters long, so it's, it's, it's easy to miss. Find out where Haggai is, come back, turn to it, Push the play button and go again. Because we're going to Haggai chapter 2. And I want to point out something here. This is just awesome. We're going to start in verse 7. The Lord says, And I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill the house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. We pointed that out. Go back and watch the end of that last that last uh, taping. The silver is mine, and the gold 
is mine, saith, you guessed it, the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house, of which we're a part, shall be greater than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, shalom, nothing missing and nothing broken, saith the Lord of hosts. So, if you watch the last message, and you watch this message, you can pretty much tell that we're going somewhere with the Lord of hosts. So, we'll talk more about it next time. I want to tie several scriptures together. It may be just a little bit longer teaching next time. But bless God, we're just having fun and learning and learning the blessing and learning the laws and the principles that work in the kingdom of God so that we can live the blessed life. Have a wonderful day.